before we see the differences between contractility and the force of contraction, we have to look about two terms, in diastolic volume and ejection fraction. So in diastolic volume is the volume present in ventricles just before the systole or contraction or we can say it as the blood volume at the end of the filling stage or at the end of the diastolic. So when the systole comes the ventricle will work on this endastolic volume and pumps the blood out. So the amount of blood which is pumped per bead is called as the stroke volume. So the fraction of endastolic volume which is ejected per ventricular bead is known as the ejection fraction. Ejection fraction is correlated with ventricular efficiency. Then let's consider a person has 150 in diastolic volume. So when the systole comes, he will pump 75 milliliters of blood. And if we calculate the ejection fraction, it will be 0.5. So think that if we give this person a venomotor drug, venomotor drugs will increase the venous return to the heart. So venous return to the heart which will eventually increase the intastolic volume. So let's put 300 milliliters for it. And when the systole comes, it will pump more, more blood out because the intastolic volume will stretch the ventricles. With the stretch of the ventricle, the in initial length of the muscle fibers will increase. And when the systole comes, it will pump more blood. Think about an elastic band or a rubber band. If we stretch it more and more and release it, it will recoil faster. So like that, if the cardiac muscle fiber length is increased by the stretch, by the volume which uh, comes to the ventricle, it will increase the amount of blood which is pumped by the ventricle. So we can say that uh, we can say um, we can put 150 milliliters of blood will be expelled. So it is the stroke volume. Then for the same person, if we give positive anthropic drugs, or we can say that uh, if the person is in uh, sympathetic stimulation, sympathetic stimulation. Uh, or if he if he consume coffee there are some things like uh, caffeine and so what will they do eventually so you know that uh, sympathetic system will um, act on beta adrenergic receptors and it will eventually cause uh, increase of cyclic AMP and caffeine will prevent the breakdown of cyclic AMP and there are some drugs, more drugs, uh, digitalis. So these all are positive inotrophic agents. What will they do? They will increase the calcium levels in the cardiac cell, so myocyte. So eventually we know that the calcium go and uh, to the cardiac uh, muscles and there will be uh, the contraction of actin and myosin troponin tropomyosin you know that and so what will uh, happen if there is an extra calcium so if there is extra calcium the actin and myosin the strength of the contraction will be increased so the more blood will pumped out. So we can say that uh, 
from 150 and diastolic volume we will get 100 milliliters of stroke volume so um, so at last if we calculate the ejection fraction of these two conditions so here we get uh, 0.5 and here we get um, 0.66 okay so if you see wow if we now look at the ejection fractions they are here 0.5 and here point both are same but here it is increased so what will happen in this condition the first condition the stroke volume has increased proportional to the endastolic volume by because why is that because the muscle fiber fiber length is increased length is increased so by why because here what is the reason because here yeah, is increase calcium to the cell and it will act on uh, actin myosin troponin tropomyosin and uh, cause more strength so this is in this condition in the second condition second condition this is the first condition what is what happened so here we can say that the force of contraction is force of contraction is increased and here the contractility is is increased so the terms you use has this so force of contraction increased because the muscle length is increased due to the stretch of the ventricle because there is an increased venous return we all know that the contractility of the myocardium is the innate ability to the heart muscle to contract so we have increased the innate ability by increasing the calcium levels. So it will cause um, increased ejection fraction. So I think uh, you got the difference between these two terms contractility and the force of contraction.